Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a love reading for you. Uh, this reading will cover past, present, and future energy for love. So hopefully this will resonate for you. If it does resonate, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comments section. Again, thank you for being here. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me, Aquarius. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So we're going to talk about the past. What was going on in the past for you in terms of love? This could be recent past, past, past. I don't know. Let's just see what was going on in the past for Aquarius. What was going on in the past, past love for Aquarius? All right. The cards that want to come out. Let's see. I don't want to talk about the past, right? Maybe you were dealing with someone who was closed off to love. The King of Swords is showing up. Someone who did not make the effort. Uh, <clears throat> this is someone who... Maybe they have really high standards. This could be a Capricorn. This could be a Scorpio. This could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be anyone here. They have high standards. But also sometimes this is like the covert narcissist. This is the eternal bachelor. This is somebody who could go through life, you know, alone. They'll have love relationships, but they'll make a commitment to no one, you know? And when they do commit, um, once again, they have really high standards for themselves and for their partner. They're very ambitious, very focused, driven in terms of their career. This is a person who you know, will do the war of words with you. They will go back and forth with you. This could be, you know, a master manipulator. This could even be you, Aquarius. All right. So in the past, we got the hermit showing up. This could be you dealing with the Virgo. Okay. If you're not dealing with the Virgo, then you're dealing with, um, maybe this situation ended. There was a, it was more so there was discovery either for you or for the other person, you just discovered that maybe this wasn't going in the right direction. Uh, this person could have ghosted you. Maybe I heard a lot. Okay. Ghosted you a lot. Maybe came back. Um, let's see what else is going on here. You just learned a lot. Maybe in terms of dealing with this person, dealing with this situation, you learned a lot about yourself. Yeah like a shift of personality here in terms of dealing with this person. Uh, the Ace of Wands. So it was always recreating the connection. It was always having to put more time and energy into building or rebuilding here. It could have been lack of progress. Like, yeah, you guys would start again, but nothing would progress. The Two of Wands. Maybe this person used to ghost you because this, some, this card could sometimes indicate cheating. Having, um, you know, the tried and true person here and then this fun, spontaneous, wild person over here. Or this could be lifestyle too. Somebody wanted to be single, act single, but also have you here as a commitment. This could also be you knowing that maybe this relationship wasn't the best for you because the two of wands talks about, you know, making the right choice so that you don't get into a karmic situation, a karmic connection knowing that maybe somebody is wild, you know, that there is opposition here. Something about them was, it was in complete opposition to maybe what you said you wanted, what you manifest to the, to the universe or what you professed to the universe. This is like meeting somebody and just maybe offering them concession. Like, oh, okay, well, they, they don't have this or that or, uh, you know, they're a little different or they're in between, you know, this could also be a person that was in between jobs or in between, you know, finding financial stability and you gave this person a chance. It was like a red flag already here in the past. Okay. You, you could have found out that they were a play girl, play boy, but you still engaged with them. One last card for the past. All right. And yeah, the will of fortune, um, something changed within you with the disconnection here. It was destined for you to meet this person. This could even be a soulmate, but it could even be a karmic soulmate. 
something about timing. Maybe you spent 10 months with them. Oh, maybe the timing that you met them, it was kind of off. You know, maybe it was off-putting. Maybe it was a time of, you know, you being recluse. Okay, so this could have been maybe around, you know, um, COVID time. So it was around that time. Maybe it was around lockdown time where everybody was, you know, trying to s scramble um, or at least uh, maintain some level of sanity and find somebody to kind of shack up with or at least be friends with. Something about the time in which you met them. Yeah. Um, somebody looked at the love relationship where they didn't have. A, okay. So this is why it's a red flag when you met this person, because this person was still out there doing their thing. They could have looked at meeting you as just another opportunity to have some whirlwind romance. And it was going to fizzle out. This is how they looked at it. Maybe you guys tried to make something out of nothing. It was the relationship went very fast in terms of timing. We got all these wands card here, all the wands out. It was very passionate, very sexual. There was no intention. You guys were having fun until things changed. Somebody couldn't ground the energy. The pages are about grounding, you know, and then the energy just. It wasn't grounded in anything with the page of wands here. It was grounded in fun and excitement, adventure, exploring. Maybe this person felt like they were just going to explore with you. They just didn't know where it was going. I'm hearing they didn't care where it was going. They had no intention for the relationship. So whomever you were dealing with in the past, this is the energy there. Let's see what's going on in the present for you, Aquarius. All right, so let's see what's going on for the Aquarius in the present. What's happening for Aquarius presently? What's happening for Aquarius? Okay, two cards came out. Um, <clears throat> The Five of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So you could be kind of grieving or regretting. Regretting or grieving or resenting. Maybe even putting energy, effort, time into something that you feel like is a lost cause. Something that you feel like... Where maybe somebody took advantage of you or took you for granted or just had you doing all the work in the relationship with the Ten of Wands here. Again, karma. The Ten of Wands talks about sometimes a karmic connection. And it talks about you seeing the karma. It, it, initially, you saw it in the Two of Wands and, and it showed up and it really was, you know, apparent for you in the Ten of Wands. So that's funny. So now in the present you see that maybe this connection came in to teach you something about you because there was like a shift in your personality too. Um, it taught you something about maybe intentions. Life needs to be intentional. Life should be, you know, um, it should be, um, in everything you need to have intentions. You know, what are your intentions? This whole whimsical thing, especially if you're over a certain age, just engaging in things, you know, if you're okay with not getting your outcome, if you're okay with it fizzling out, then by all means engage in something that um, has no intentions. But if you know what you want, if it is family, if it is husband, if it is wife, if it is children, if it is white picket fence and home and then you have to be intentional in terms of where you put your energy, effort, time, where you invest, because some of this, these situations are just not going to pan out and give you what you want. And the two and the ten of wands talks about the karma that we create for ourselves. So we know in the devil card, we talk about karmic connection and, um, you know, addiction and toxicity, fear, all of that stuff. But the Ten of Wands um, sometimes can be the karma that we create for ourselves. So now somebody in the present could be resting in resentment, regret for even allowing this situation to come into their life. They also could be mourning the relationship. It says that the relationship is recoverable, but maybe neither of you know how to come back to each other, what to say, what to do. It's been so much time elapsed or it's been so much energy, so much frustration between the two of you. Um, 
Lieutenant Wan says that maybe in the present, there's either you or the other person who's very busy, very busy with work, and it has nothing to do with you, so they don't have a lot of time to put into a love relationship. Uh, the Ten of Wands, yeah, talks about somebody being on autopilot. So maybe you just were showing up for the connection presently. And now you're realizing that maybe that just wasn't what you needed to do um, in this connection. What, what else is going on presently for the Aquarius? Presently in love for the Aquarius. Oh, flipped out. The Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. So yeah, you're maybe um, you're isolating yourself. Some of you... Initially, most people go to heartbreak. You're heartbroken or somebody's heartbroken about you. And that could be very well true. But also this card can sometimes sometimes talk about isolation and alienation. Maybe you're alienating yourself or you have alienated someone else. Or you isolated yourself, especially with the Queen of Cups coming out because she's practicing emotional stability. So what's the main way you can, you know, maintain your emotional stability? Uh, isolating yourself alienating people not talking to a lot of people not engaging because you don't want them to destabilize you with all of their frustrations in their life or maybe with issues that they seem to have with you or have about their life you just don't have time for it uh the queen of cups she's a very layered individual she has a very um dynamic personality that some people can't fathom because there's so many layers to her once you think you've got her figured out there's another Something else she shows you about herself. She has something to offer to the world. And that's why her personality is so dynamic and so uh, layered. This is a fixed energy. This sometimes could be Scorpio. Um, you could have Scorpio in your chart. Um, you give good advice right now because you're not attached to the outcome. You could care less if they take your advice. But you said what you said and you're moving on with the Queen of Cups. That's kind of the energy that you're in. You're also trying to, some of you trying to heal this heartbreak or this connection or this divorce or this separation. There could have been miscommunication between you and someone else. There's definitely lack of communication. Somebody's divided in their heart space. Like, I got this thing over here, the Aquarius right here, and then me. What do I do? So that's how somebody is coming up. That could be you. It could be another person that you're dealing with complacency is coming out so presently it just seems as if the Aquarius is isolating themselves not talking not dealing not dealing with frustration and drama having released a burden you know something got way too heavy Some, you Aquarius or the other person felt like they were just carrying all the weight of the relationship and it was just like you know what let me just release this because I don't even know where it's going. Um, let's see. Let's get a few more cards for the present. What's the present? Okay, we've got two cards. The Strength and the Fool. Okay, so you get two uh, major arcana showing up for you, Aquarius. So what this talks about is some of you... Um, this talks about sex and intimacy. Either you have lack of it or you're having a lot of it, or you want an opportunity to have maybe a carefree connection with not a whole lot of strings attached for some of you, all right? Um, the strength card also talks about maybe even tempering your emotions, emotional outbursts, holding things in, knowing when to speak. It talks about soft control, not forcing anything. So some of you are holding back uh, maybe not speaking again coming up miscommunication and not speaking because um, there's a level of uh, distrust too. you don't trust a situation or a person. So it's just it's, it's easier to hold back, hold your emotions. Could be a Scorpio because we, we got the strength card showing up a eighth house Scorpio. I don't know. It could be anybody. It could be Leo too. It could be another Aquarius. Could be Aries. It, so don't get too hung up on the signs. It could be anybody if there's if the story resonates and it's for you. Um The universe is asking you to hold back to is putting you in a place of holding back and learning soft control and learning not to force. If you don't get your way or if you're not hearing what you want to hear, 
Don't force it. Don't get upset. Another approach says the strength card. You need to try a different approach, maybe a softer approach. I heard kindness, compassion, compassion in your speech. You need to be a little bit softer, especially if you aren't getting what you want. With the fool card, it says that maybe some of you is going to say, um, in order to have a new beginning with a, a particular person, this is what you need to do. We just talked about what you need to do. You know, don't force it. Is it? It's a time. Um, it's a time of holding back, reserving your emotions, and um, it's a time of for forgiveness. Maybe even forgiving yourself, because we did have that resentment, regret showing up. This disappointment. Um. And also could be forgiving other people or another person in the present so that you can move forward and have a new, a new relationship, a new, something new develop in your life. You know, a new development. Think about, think about in your neighborhood, new development. When you see that sign saying something, this, this is a new development that they're building something, they're constructing something new from, from the ground up. Right. And that is what the fool card is about. You know, building something, constructing something from the ground up, a new development. So this wasn't, it wouldn't necessarily be about going backwards or going to an old person. This is, some of you Aquarius just want something new to happen in your life, a new beginning. Um, some of you are even in a place of, you don't even care where it goes. You just want something new. You don't even, you know, like you don't have a lot of reservations for it. You know, you hope to find the one. But at the same time, you just don't want to be stuck in old energy. All right. They said last card for the present. Last card for the present. Last card. For the present. All right. Last card for the present. All right. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune. You got the Wheel of Fortune in the past, too. So some of you could find, like, somebody, like, um, love at first sight high level soulmate some of you could come into different circles you know um friend circles social circles uh networking circles um and maybe you'll find something new or someone new it talks about divine timing it talks about clearing of karma also it talks about luck maybe around pisces time because we just came out of Sagittarius. So maybe some of you found either a Pisces or Sagittarius. Or you found someone around Sagittarius season. Uh, you could find someone around Pisces season. It's just that the universe is working something out for you. To put you in the right place at the right time. Again, timing coming up. Okay, so presently it looks like some of my Aquarius just want to move on. It just doesn't. You know, okay, it happened. You know, I'm done with it. I'm not putting energy into it. I don't know where it's going. It is what it is. That's what some of the Aquarius are saying. I want newness, a new development, something new to develop, not anything old. Um, because uh, I don't think it's going to serve me well, and I don't think I'm going to get the outcome that I want. Because um, maybe I was dealing with somebody that was. Um, they have more than one option when I first met them and that's what that's where they want to be they want to be the bachelor they don't want to give me the life that I feel like I need or I want or I deserve we, we, we're in opposition and it also could just be that in the past the opposition was you and this person wanting two different things you know two different outcomes they wanted you know something fun in the sun and uh, you thought like, okay, this could really work. This is a soulmate. This I, I like this person. I love this person. Or, but I don't think it started off well in terms of intentions. And we got to be intentional. It's so funny how we can be intentional in everything else that we do. When you go show up for a job interview, your intention is to get the job, to show up, show them the best you, best foot forward. You got everything in order, you know, blah, blah, blah. And um, hopefully you get the job. You know, when you show up to university, you're like, okay, I'm going to do four years. Ah, if I can cut it down to three, great. Um, and then I'm going to get my degree. You don't show up to university and you're like, oh, if I, you know, 
if I get my degree, I get my degree. I don't know. You know, I don't know how long I'm going to be here. It just is what it is. No, and you don't show up to that job interview like that either. You don't show up like, oh, I don't know if I'll get the job. It just is what it is. I'm going to show up, how, you know, as me, whatever. I don't care. No, you show up very intentional. So I think that's how we need to show up in our love life too. Very intentional. You need to set your intentions uh, up front uh, to other parties. Uh, if it scares them off, then that's great. You have, you lost nothing. You gain nothing and you can move on clean and clear instead of, you know, moving, trying to move on 10 months, one year, two years down the line when there's an attachment there and it's going to be harder. And now it's, you, now you're running around talking about how you're in a karmic connection. Well, let's talk about how it started, you know? Um, so anyway, um, in the near future, we have what's going on for the Aquarius in the near future. The nine of wands. So we've got maybe a secret admirer or someone looking at you. This could be someone from the past too. This could be a new person. There's somebody who's checking you out here. You got somebody lingering, hanging around. Someone can't move forward. They're still looking at the past, especially if they are single. Still looking at you. This could be you, Aquarius. I would pray that it's not you. In the near future, we get the three of wands. Very nice. So this could be you, Aquarius. You're looking, you're beyond the past. You put out the prayers, the manifestation work, the energy work, and you're ready for something new. Uh, you know that it's coming in for you because you've done the work. You've released, relinquished, and you're over it. You're done with, with past energy here. Um, you want expansion. You want growth. You want what you deserve here. It says that in every aspect of your life, things are going well, working out well for you. And the three of wands here. Um in the love department, you may have put some prayers out and you're expecting something. You could be, um, you know, maybe expecting someone to visit you or travel. Let's see what's going on for the Aquarius in the near future. The Knight of Swords. All right. So um, you could be meeting someone new. Whew. All right. What is this Knight of Swords? All right. Let's say tell them. Um, so this could be somebody from the past showing back up and. How they're showing up is, oh, I feel like the Aquarius is getting away from me. So I need to do something big. I need to show up big so I can get him back. But the Knight of Swords, he, you know, his, his thing is a failure to plan. The plan is getting you back. And once it gets you back or she gets you back, that is just it. There's nothing more. There's nothing less. You know, there's not, okay, and now... We move in together. We get married. We have a bit. No, it's just, I just need you back, you know? So someone's going to be highly persuasive, maybe in their words or their actions in terms of trying to get you back. It's funny because we started with the king of swords. Um, someone just knowing that they had you in the bag here. And now we, we're, we're ending in the near future with the knight of swords. So someone taking action maybe towards you could be the same king of swords. I'm not exactly sure. Um, the, the Knight of Swords is also apprehensive about commitment, failure to commit. But this person knows that maybe uh, a love interest is getting away from them, that they're going to miss the opportunity with the Four of Cups showing up, um, that they are that they have, or they are missing the blessing that this person was or is, and they want reunion and reconciliation. The Two of Cups doesn't really talk about finding somebody new. You can do your own research on it. it talks about um forgiveness and healing a severed tie so you could have severed a tie here in the present okay and now in the near future somebody wants to heal this connection we got leo showing up again we got cancer showing up twice with the two and the four of cups we've got somebody who feels like that you're um you're good for them you're good at the very core of you your heart is good you're a good person good vibrations they feel good with you it was good times with you. They can be themselves with you. You see how it's very selfish and one-sided. You're really good for me. I can be myself with you. I like being with you. You're good. Good company. Okay, so, but what do you offer? So it's, you got somebody who wants you back, and they're coming back at you with that energy, with the Knight of Swords. Like, I just want you back because I want this back. Now they could be coming back saying that they're seeking a one-on-one -on -one relationship here. Um, they want forgiveness. They want you to forgive and forget and let bygones be bygones. Let it go. This is what they could be coming back and saying. 
Um, it's best for us to be together than apart, says the two of cups. Um, what is the future energy for the Aquarius? I'm sorry, Aquarius, I don't have better news. The eight of cups, I mean, the eight of pentacles. So yeah, somebody could be thinking about you over and over again, wanting another chance. Some of you in the near future could be trying very hard to find somebody new, especially with that fool card showing up in the present. And then in the future, it talks about trying very hard to find a new love, a new lover, um, putting a lot of energy into it. Um, and then also in the Eight of Pentacles, in the near future, it talks about maybe somebody want it again, another chance. Let's do it over again. Um, this is somebody who is saying that they want to put the work in. But I don't know, this could be another cycle with the Eight here. It could be another cycle. We know that cycles are circles. So it's going in the same place. It's going, it's, it's literally a 360. You know, so I don't know about this Aquarius. Let's see in the near future. What is, what is the energy for the Aquarius in the near future? Yeah, the three of cups and the four of pentacles. So somebody wants you to reconcile with them. They feel like you are the one that is getting away, has gotten away. Okay. They feel that you have emotionally checked out. That they're missing the opportunity. They want to communicate how they're thinking and how they're feeling with you. But all of this stagnation, they want to get you back in this place. So this man looks at these four pentacles like his what? Possessions. Because they are. And this person, they look at you as, you know, you're their possession they want to have you as a possession here Aquarius they want to possess you they want to have opportunity to be with you they want to have access to you they may be coming back very dominant very domineering trying to exert their will on you like this is a good opportunity for you yeah I can't be your husband but I can always uh be uh, the guy that you see on the weekend you know it's something or somebody's trying to persuade you that this is good for you, or this is a good opportunity for you, or you want to miss out on them, or, you know, like they're really trying to manipulate here um, and get you back in that toxic, stuck relationship with no growth. This is the cap. So this is the cap on a relationship. It's funny how he has that pentacle on his hat or his cap. It's like they don't want it to grow beyond the four of pentacles. Let's get some advice for the Aquarius in terms of moving forward. I'm so sorry that we did not have better advice. We didn't have better cards in terms of a new love. Uh, I do see that Aquarius, new love is possible here, okay? Um, well, let's just ask the cards. Is there new love coming in for the Aquarius in the near future? Is there new love coming in for the Aquarius in the near future? Um, so the four of swords and the queen of wands, some of you could just be thinking about what plans to make in the near future and taking a rest. It looks like you're very charismatic and outgoing. I don't know if any of these people are to your liking. Aquarius, you could have taken a break from someone. And you're waiting for somebody, you're waiting for this person to come back. You feel like this relationship that you took a break from was temporary or is temporary. The break was temporary, you know. I I I can't confidently say there is someone new, Aquarius. Not with the Queen of Wands and the Four of Swords. Um some of you need to do a bit more healing, clearing energy. Some of you, you just took a break from your person because there was suspicion that there was somebody else. And the relationship was real fragile. Like it, it could just fall apart. It, 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 one more argument and we're done. You know. With the Queen of Wands, it says that you 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 look amazing, okay? And you're out here and you're getting a lot of attention. Um, I'm not sure if you're taking to any of it, though. 
clarify the king, the queen of wands here. I keep getting that maybe you don't like the options. Clarify the king, the queen of wands in terms of a new person. Um, you could be getting somebody very okay. You could be getting someone who's very sexy. Let's see, because they don't have to be you. The six of swords, yeah. Um, maybe somebody will come in and help you move on. It could be um, just maybe a sexual connection here with the four of swords there and that laying down in that bed. They, but they could be helping you move past maybe this hurtful relationship because that's the Ten of Swords there. Making you move, helping you move past this very volatile connection. Volatile in terms of it could have been physical violence. I pray that it wasn't. Um, but it could volatile in terms of day to day. You didn't know what you were going to get. If you guys want to be together or not be together each and every day, each and every week, it was something different, you know, volatile, like the stock market is volatile. So it was, um, and, and, and maybe it collapsed, you know, all, all of a sudden here, or you walked away all of a sudden, somebody put the hammer down and just ended it here. Somebody got fed up because the tens talk about completion. So maybe somebody is going to come in and help you move on or there still needs to be some clearing or some healing for you to move on. Um, oh, for you to get this out of your mental space, Aquarius, because you're still stuck on this mentally. And Aquarius is, you know, real, you know, cerebral, very mental. Yeah, this is time for you to get your mental space together. Wow. Release baggage, Aquarius. You know, this past relationship, you know, with that Six of Swords and the Star card so that you don't take it into the new relation. Okay, so that's why. All right, so that's why the universe is holding up the new person because you'll mess them over because you're not ready. You're not, you, I know you feel you are, but the universe would know best, right? Um, the temperance card t literally says getting your life in order. So maybe getting your life in order, um, getting your emotional space in order, getting yourself back to alignment. These seven, these seven stars talk about alignment, chakra alignment. So maybe you need to do that. You need to get your chakras realigned. It was off dealing with this debacle of a relationship. Um, the star card and the temperance card, uh, it's like the universe is really working with you to uh, learn a higher level of consciousness, frequency. When in a temperance card, you know compassion and you know justice. Therefore, you have that higher level of consciousness, of frequency here. You know conflict resolution because the temperance is fifteen, is 14, which reduces to 5. So you know how to reduce conflict or you know how to resolve conflict and resolution. Excuse me, conflict. <laughs> you know how to resolve conflict. You know conflict resolution, Aquarius. Um, by way of using compassion and justice. You know how to be fair and you know how to be merciful. And that's what is what the universe is trying to get you to learn here. You got to learn how to release to release emotions, learn how, Oh, Aquarius, you got to learn how to release your emotions. Cause some of you release your emotions in the most, you know, damaging, detrimental, toxic, maybe even ways. And it's, it's hard to get back on the right track when you do that with anybody, whether, it rom whether it be romantic or platonic. So it's like the universe is putting you by yourself to, um, get this relationship out of your mind, out of your, uh, definitely out of your mind. Okay. Cause you're still thinking about it. And this person still could even be thinking about you, but they're not offering much, but, uh, you know, just to have access to you. Okay. And, um, the six of swords and the four of swords here, um, it's time for you to understand that you can have better in love relationships, but only once you do the healing work, the true healing work, just start going to sleep with maybe some chakra alignment music on heal it. Start, you know, you can start with your heart chakra since this is a love reading Then you can work your way out to the different chakras. Um, but something about learning how to express your emotions, Aquarius. Okay. Cause you got a lot of them. You feel deep. 
you are the humanitarian, you are the philanthropist, um, you rule groups of people and friend groups. So you, you know, a communal love too. It's just, yeah. And then once you do this Aquarius, you can find maybe your twin flame, the person you're supposed to be with. Um, you could have monumental success in love here. You could have a, even a higher self, you know, esteem about yourself. Not to say that your self-esteem is low, but maybe in terms of engaging, you're not sure if you, you know, if you could have monumental um, success because some of you know that you need to fix some internal things about you because you've been through a lot. Let's get some advice for the Aquarius and close this out. 35 minutes. Well, all right, let's see. All right, so let's see. What's the advice for the Aquarius? You know, guys, you can always listen to these long readings. You can, um, there's three dots up in the corner of this video. Just click those three dots and you can change the, um, the, uh, I guess the, the frequency. I don't know what the word would be. Um, but you can change uh, the timing of, of the, the video of how I'm saying things. You can speed it up. OK, <laughs> yeah, you can speed the, the video up. So and that's how I listen to my YouTube videos anyway. But you don't have to. But that, that helps you take in a little bit more information. Um, so, yeah. Anyhow, uh, seven of spades showing up. So some of you, uh, the advice is to release, release. Um, so this talks about the seven of spades talk, talks about a uh, loss of friendship, loss of burden to carry. So some of you, this person, this friends with benefits, um, situation, this person that wouldn't make you the main, uh, they, they wouldn't give you what you wanted. You need to lose it. You need to drop it. Okay. Loss of friendship, loss of burden to carry. And it's funny because we had the burden card of the 10 of wands in the present. You need to, you dr drop it. If you haven't already dropped it, just drop it, you know, um, and if you need to, you can drop it gradually. You can kind of bow out gradually. Maybe you, you kind of cut back on communication and, and then all together you're out, you know, uh, advice for the Aquarius, the nine of cups, make a wish. It could very well come true. Says the nine of hearts here. Um, you can have what you want. Okay. That's what the cards want you to know that. Uh, the advice for the Aquarius, um, find emotional stability by yourself to the nines talk about singular energy, single. So, um, stop looking for, excuse me, emotional stability, um, a love relationship to provide you with this emotional elation here. Find it by yourself. Take yourself out to a restaurant, take yourself out to, you know, if, if you're able to a nightclub or whatever it is, wherever you go, a lounge, take yourself out to a hotel bar and get yourself a drink. Meet somebody new. If you can do that in your city, your town, wherever you are, um, find it by yourself because, uh, I don't know, you're looking outward a lot, Aquarius, to, to bring in emotions when they should be coming from within for some of you. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. What do we have to say? What's the advice? Okay, the five of hearts here. Um, the five of hearts talks about, again, regret and resentment. Um, yeah, it talks about regret and resentment. Somebody could be regretting what they did to you too. There's a high level of guilt, okay? And somebody doesn't know how to make it right with you, okay? Uh the two of cups um it says a mutually beneficial relationship maybe you will find that eventually aquarius once you do the work and the yeah the jack of hearts it looks like somebody new could be coming in for you it's gonna be mutually beneficial somebody who wears their heart on their sleeve someone who's giving open caring honest wow nine of diamonds here too um, again, talks about being single, having all that you need, being abundant, uh, being, you know, looking radiant, flourishing. Um, also, it's, 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 don't, don't close your heart chakra down, Aquarius, because the nine of pentacles can sometimes talks about keeping people outside of your heart space or your home, or you just don't want that level of intimacy because you're scared. Uh, don't, don't, you know, don't do that because that's not going to lend to what you really say you want. 
So that is the advice that I have for the Aquarius. I hope that this reading was thorough and it gave you a bit of uh, clarity in terms of love and love relationships was coming in for you for the near future, presently where you are and in the past, what you were dealing with. Um, and also maybe some advice in terms of what you need to do moving forward to get that outcome that you're looking forward to Aquarius. So if you want to get your own personal reading, just like this one, or you want me to pull the past and the present energy, you can go over to the website, book a 10 minute uh, video, uh, book any reading at the website level, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night where you can ask a question of me and just come for the collective reading. Aquarius, um, many blessings to you. Thank you again. Uh, all links are below. Take care.